So this is the third part in my three-part series of how to build a longboard with a roar rocket press. As you can see, I'm slicing the bread into 40 um, by 10 and then 40 by 9 in sheets. This is Baltic birch that I'm using. It's probably the most common wood to use to build your first longboard. So these sheets of Baltic birch are 1 8 inch thick and if you stack them into a 3 ply it'll have a good amount of bend and it'll still be pretty firm but if you do 4 ply it'll be very stiff. Now I'm moving on to gluing the plies together uh, just using a regular wood glue and I'm going to layer it four plies thick and my phone actually runs out of batteries before I place it inside the vacuum sealed bag. Sorry for the crazy next scene, but this is just pulling all the air out of the bag and then I let it sit for about 24 hours, pull it out, and wasn't too happy with the concave I got. Next time I'm going to use a two inch thick piece of foam and three ply deck. I will also be using maple and bamboo so I'll have more strength in the wood and maybe a little bit of flex from the bamboo. Now moving on to Stenciling out the top sheet, and then I'll be moving on to cutting it with a jigsaw. Adding in the holes for the trucks. So, the jigsaw I used is pretty ancient and the cut was kind of rough but you'll see I end up fixing it with the sander and uh, sorry about the shakiness here but giving you a little better angle of how I did it it's pretty subtle but you might be able to notice that it is an asymmetrical shape the two tails have different styles, which is kind of something that I wanted to test out and figure out which one I like better. Now I'm hitting it the 60 grit sandpaper to remove quite a bit of material and even out some of the edges. Uh, you'll notice that the outside edge is very rough because the layers aren't perfectly aligned so it takes quite a bit of sanding. Still using the 60 grit here, preparing to use the scraper 
And then I'll move on to Hunter Grit, which is a bit finer. Here I'm going back and forth between the Hunter Grit and the Scraper to get a nice rounded edge. I found that when using the scraper, you want to have it on a 45 degree angle towards you and pulling for the most part. Then I do a quick finish in hand, which is not recommended. Make the 400 grit sandpaper, getting ready for the stain. And that's the finished product there. Looking smooth.